What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a massive keyword list in just 10 minutes for your website. This is part 5 of my SEO tutorial for beginners. You can find the other parts available for free on YouTube before this if you haven't watched them already. So in the previous video I went over how to do keyword research and I consider building a keyword list different than doing keyword research. Because when I'm doing keyword research, what I want to do is I want to group keywords together where I find basically topics and subtopics just based on the keywords that people are typing into Google and other search engines. So you can see here I have a main topic at the top and then some of these are just subtopics that are related to this main topic. And as we scroll down, you can see there's other examples here and continue to scroll down. So when I'm doing keyword research, basically what I'm trying to do is find my top keywords and then find the most related keywords to those top keywords. When I'm building a keyword list, I want to build something that looks like this, where I have a keyword and I have searches. So you can see this is just a massive list of keywords that are going to be related to my business and keywords that I eventually want to optimize my website for. So the reason that I want to create a keyword list is so I can eventually create a keyword content map where I'm mapping each individual keyword to the URLs on my website that I want to rank for that keyword. Here's an example of one. For my website, beachfronttocore.com, you can see for each individual keyword, I have the main pages that I consider for this keyword and then some areas where I can optimize. So it helps you understand where you can optimize your content and the types of keywords you want to optimize for. For this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a keyword list both using Microsoft Excel, so we have a blank workbook open here in Excel, and how to create one using Google Sheets. So if we come over here and we open up our Google Drive account, just go to drive.google.com. After you sign into your Google account, you're going to see something that looks like this. And if you just come here to New and Google Sheets, it's going to open up a blank Google Sheet. This is completely free, so if you want to use Google Sheets rather than Microsoft Excel, I'm going to show you how to create your list using both options so that it's available to you because not everyone has Microsoft Excel installed on their computer. In order to build our keyword list, we're going to be using two different tools. So the first tool is going to be the Google Keyword Planner. So when I sign into my Google Ads account, you can see this is my ads account that I use for tutorials. And you can see I've only spent $2 over the last 30 days. The reason I have an active campaign in here is so I can get all of the data available in the Keyword Planner. So if we come up here to tools and settings, come over here to planning and open keyword planner, it's going to open the keyword tool available to us through Google ads. So when you open the keyword planner, it's going to look something like this and we can click on discover new keywords to get started. Now, if you don't have an active campaign, it might show you some ranges of data as you search for different keywords, rather than showing you the exact amount of searches that each individual keyword gets per month. The other tool that I'm going to be using is Ubersuggest. So go to ubersuggest.com or neilpatel.com slash ubersuggest and you're going to find this tool right here. So these are both completely free keyword research tools. Google Ads does require an account in order to use their keyword tool and an active campaign to allow you to see all of the data. And the same thing with Ubersuggest, you're going to need to sign into your Google account in order to see all of the data in Ubersuggest. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to enter our domain here. So for this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how I build a keyword list for my website, floorjackcenter.com. So this is the center of the entire SEO tutorial. And at the very end, I'm going to go over how I grow my organic search traffic and continue to monitor it over time. So we're going to start here in Uber Suggest, and we're just going to enter our domain, floorjackcenter.com, and click on search. And we're going to come over here to the Google Keyword Planner, and we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to click on start with a website. And we're going to enter our website right here. So, okay, we have our website. We're going to use the entire website and click on get results. Okay, so in the keyword planner, what you're going to see is we have over 1,200 keyword ideas available. It's going to first show us our top keywords by relevance based on what Google thinks our website is the most relevant for. And then you can see average monthly searches here. So all we want to do is after we make this search is click on download keyword ideas. Okay, so that's going to download our first spreadsheet here. And now the next thing we want to do is we want to come back over here to Uber Suggest. You can see we have our domain overview for floorjackcenter.com and it's showing organic keywords, over 2,400 organic keywords. So we're going to click right here on organic keywords and it's going to come up with a huge list of our top organic keywords based on the data in Uber Suggest. And with this, we're going to also export this to a CSV file. So now we have two different files downloaded and all we've done is we've entered our domain name in ubersuggest.com and in the Google Keyword Planner. So the next thing we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to start with keywords this time. So we're going to start with keywords. We're not going to enter our domain 
And what we're going to do is we're going to enter products or services closely related to our business. So for floorjackcenter.com, some of my top keywords are floor jacks, car jacks, pallet jacks, car lifts, hydraulic jacks, and bottle jacks. So these are just some of the different keywords that we want to rank for. In this, you want to enter the products or services most closely related to your business. So you want to enter any of the products on your website or any of the services that you offer. And then from this, we're going to click on get results again. And now this is going to pull up over 5,300 keyword ideas. So again, these are way too many keyword ideas for any normal website, especially if it's just one person or a couple people working on that website. But what we're still going to do is download these keyword ideas. But before I do it, what I want to do is add a filter. And I want to make sure that average monthly searches are greater than or equal to 100. So we're going to click on apply. So this will get rid of some of these keywords at the very bottom. And now we can download keywords and this is going to give us our third report. So we have three total Excel files here. So what we want to do is we want to click right here and open our first Excel file. And you can see it's going to look something like this. So the first thing I do is I get rid of these two top rows. So we're going to delete these top rows. This is our Excel file from the Google Keyword Planner. And you can see we have all of our keywords here. It's going to show currency. We're going to get rid of this column and then all these other columns over here. So all we have right now are just two columns. So if we come over here, you can see we have keyword, we have average monthly searches. So we want to come here, we want to go to data and we want to sort this data, expand the selection and sort by average monthly searches from largest to smallest. Click on OK. It's that simple. We're going to take this data. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back over to our blank Excel worksheet and we're going to paste it. OK, so we have our first file ready here in Excel. So the, now the next thing we want to do is we want to come back over. We want to open up the other CSV file that we had. So we did two different files in the Google Keyword Planner. So we're going to start by opening both of those different files. So now we're going to open the second file here. OK, so this is the second file that I'm opening. And this is the one where I entered all the keywords rather than my website. So we're going to come here. We're going to delete these two rows. We're going to delete the same thing again, this currency row, and then all these other rows. OK, so again, all we have is a list of keywords and a list of average monthly searches. So we're going to come here again in column B. We're going to come to data. We're going to come to sort. And we just want to expand the selection, sort by average monthly searches, largest to smallest. Click on OK. So the same thing, what we're going to do is come here. We're going to copy this. We're going to copy right here. We're going to come back over to our Excel worksheet. So this is the one we had before and scroll to the bottom. OK, we're going to scroll to the bottom here and we're going to paste. Okay, so now we have all of our keywords here and you're going to see there's going to be some overlap. There's going to be some duplicate keywords, but don't worry about that right now. So if we see right here, car jack, if we scroll up all the way to the top, you're going to see the same keyword up here. That's not a problem at all. And I'll show you why. So the last thing we want to do is come over and get our Uber suggest data. So we're going to click on this spreadsheet here that we downloaded from Uber suggest. So this is our third different spreadsheet. So we're taking three total spreadsheets and we're combining all of the data, just the keyword and the total monthly searches. So when Uber suggests, it's going to show up as volume. So what we want to do here is I'm just going to delete this column right here and we're just going to take the keyword and the volume and we're just going to come down and copy all of this data and we're going to come back over to our Excel worksheet and we're going to scroll to the bottom again and we're going to paste this right at the bottom. So as you can see right now, we have a total of three different spreadsheets, all the data combined into one spreadsheet and we just have the keywords here. We just have the average monthly searches. So what we want to do is we're going to come up to the top and all we're going to do is take these two columns here, come up to the top to data. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to remove duplicates, which is right here. So if you're trying to find remove duplicates, let's just say I maximize this real quick. So remove duplicates is going to be right here. So this is what we're going to click. So we come back over here, click on remove duplicates, select all. So we select both columns and click on OK. OK, so now it's going to say 152 duplicate values found and removed. 2300 unique values remain. Click on OK. We're going to center this data right here. So we're going to center and we're going to come over here to data again, sort, expand the selection, sort by average monthly searches, largest to smallest, click on OK. So now we have the top keywords for our business and you can see car jack, floor jack, car lift. These are some of the grouped keywords that I had earlier. And as we scroll down, you're going to see all of these different keywords here that we can optimize for for our website. So as we scroll down here, you can see we have a ton of different keywords that we can start optimizing our website for. And even if we come down all the way into the rows that are in the hundreds, we still have a search volume of over 1000 searches per month. So we have a lot of different keywords that we can start to optimize our website for and make sure we're creating individual pages on our website for these keywords so that we can start to rank higher and higher in Google as people type in these keywords. 
Now, in order to do this in Google Drive, it's gonna be a little bit different. So we're done doing this in Microsoft Excel. This is completed, and now what we can do is take this keyword list and just import it right into our spreadsheet, our keyword list, and then we can start creating our keyword content map for the next video. So what I'm gonna be doing now is opening Google Drive, and then what you wanna do again is come over here to New, and you wanna come over here to Google Sheets, so we have our spreadsheet open. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to File, and we're gonna Import, and we're gonna import the three different files that we just downloaded. So after you click on Import File, you wanna to come to this Upload tab at the top, and we're gonna select a file from our device, and we're gonna to have to upload each file separately. Okay, so we'll upload our Google Keyword Planner spreadsheets first. When we upload it, it's gonna say Import Location, Replace Spreadsheet, Create New Spreadsheet. What you wanna do is Append to Current Sheet, and then keep everything else the same, and we're gonna click on Import Data. Okay, so we're gonna to have to clean up these spreadsheets again, so what I'm gonna do real quick is just clean up the top two rows, and then get rid of these columns again. So we're gonna delete these columns. So all we have here is Keyword and Average Monthly Searches. So again, what we need to do next is we're gonna click on File again, and what we're gonna do is click on Import, click on the Upload tab at the top, and then we're gonna select another file, and we're gonna do the second one here. Okay, same exact thing. We're gonna append it to our current sheet, and we're gonna click on Import Data. Okay, if we scroll to the bottom, you're gonna find this new data here, and we're gonna clean this up again. So I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker this time. Okay, so now we have a over 2,000 different keywords here. Now there are a lot of duplicates, but the last thing we wanna do is import that final file. So if we come up to the top here again, what you're gonna see is we have all these different keywords, and then at the top, keyword and average monthly searches. So the last thing we need to do is come to file and import one more time. And we're gonna upload our Uber Suggest file this time. So we've uploaded our two keyword planner files, and now we're just gonna append our Uber Suggest file here and click on import data one more time. Okay, so now we have this at the bottom here. So what we wanna do is clean this up one final time. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna delete this row, and then we're gonna delete these columns. When you're deleting this, all you wanna do is highlight all of the data, come here, click on delete cells and shift left. So that's gonna shift everything over and then we're just gonna delete this data over here. So all we have is keyword and average search volume. So we're gonna come up to the top one more time, click on this B, come to data. We're gonna sort the sheet by column B, Z to A. So that's gonna do largest to smallest by average monthly searches. So we're gonna click here, so that's gonna give us our top keywords by average monthly searches. You can see I didn't delete this row earlier, so we'll delete this row. You can see there's some duplicates here. So Carjack is duplicated. We don't want any duplicate keywords here, obviously. So what we wanna do is the same thing we did in Excel. We're just gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna select column A and column B, come to data again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove duplicates. So click on remove duplicates here from the data and we're gonna click here and then it's gonna say, remove duplicates, 2,400 rows and two columns selected. So we have select all, column A, column B, remove duplicates. So what it's gonna say, 152 removed, 2,300 unique rows remain, click on okay. And you can see now we have a ton of different keywords. Same thing we had in Microsoft Excel, but right now it's in Google Sheets. A little bit easier if you don't have Microsoft already. So this is how I build large keyword lists. And ultimately I build my keyword list so that I can create a keyword content map because it becomes a little bit easier to manage all of your data, especially because I do have some duplicates here. If I come back over to my spreadsheet and I have my grouped keywords that I created in the previous video where I did keyword research, you can see I have my grouped keywords here there is some crossover. So if I come down here to car floor jack, for example, underneath my car jack topic, and then we scroll down and we come down to floor jack, you're gonna see right here, car floor jack. So we do have some duplicates in here, and it becomes very helpful as I create my keyword content map. Let's just say I scroll down, and I create a page for car floor jacks. I have my page over here. I can apply it to both of these grouped keywords and then it becomes very easy to link all of these pages together as we create our topic clusters. So I'm gonna go over all of this in some follow-up videos, but this is how to create a massive keyword list using keywords from the Google Keyword Planner, using our website in the Google Keyword Planner, and using Ubersuggest, and then just combining all of that data using either Microsoft Excel, if you have Microsoft Excel, or by using Google Drive and Google Sheets. So you can use either program, it's gonna give you the same data, and all you have to do is remove duplicates. So that's gonna allow you to find thousands of keywords for your business, and you're gonna be able to find a lot of different keywords with high search volume. So even as I come down here to row 300, for example, we still have a search volume of 480. So it's gonna allow us to find a lot of different keywords with high search volume that we can continue to optimize for.
So this is how to create a massive keyword list in just 10 minutes. Again, we did this twice in this video, and you can also do this much quicker as you continue to do it more and more. It might take longer just to create your accounts with Google Ads and to create your account with Ubersuggest, but after you sign into everything and you start doing some searches, you just download the keyword ideas, you import the spreadsheets directly into Google Sheets, or you take the data and what I do is I just put it all into Microsoft Excel and then we have our keyword list and we can start optimizing our website for these keywords. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Our next video is gonna show you how to create a keyword content map. Our previous video went over keyword research in a little bit more detail. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.